In this video, we're going to be talking about the trial system. And this is how we set up trials in studies so that everything can be balanced, randomized, however you'd like. For this, we're going to be looking at the factor tree and the trials and conditions window. In this study, I'm going to be presenting two images and asking participants to click on one. To edit all of the trials in the study at the same time, I'm going to click on this trial group here, and I'm going to add my stimuli. Next, I'm going to add my question. Okay, so for this experiment, I'm going to be presenting images of dogs and cats, and another image that's a flower. And I'm asking participants to click on which image shows a pet. To do this, I'd like to randomize the position of the images. So sometimes the pet will be on the left and sometimes on the right. Sometimes it's a dog, sometimes it's a cat. I'm going to do this by creating different conditions with factors. My first factor is going to be animals. My first level is going to be dog. And my second level is going to be cat. As you can see, I've already created two conditions. The first condition is where the animal is a dog, and the second is where the animal is a cat. Next, I'm going to add another factor, and this factor is going to be position. Under my factor of position, I'm going to have left, and I'm going to have right as my levels. When you add new factors, they cross to create conditions. And you can check that down here in this trials and conditions window. As you can see, I now have four conditions. The dog on the left, the dog on the right, a cat on the left, and a cat on the right. I'm going to show you how to edit all of these. Next, I'm going to add four trials per condition because I'd like to see four times where the dog is on the left and so on and so forth. Now you can see that I have 16 trials in my study. Let's add our stimuli, starting with the first condition, where the dog is on the left. I click on the leftmost image, and in the Object Properties window on the right, I scroll down and click this little file folder icon. In my stimuli folder, I'm going to select the images of dogs and click the spreadsheet icon. Since I already created four trials, I'm going to assign the files to existing trials in condition one, dog on the left. I click next. I'm going to randomize the order anyway, so I'm going to click auto assign. But if you'd like them to be in a different order than what it shows here, you can drag and drop in whatever order you want. I click confirm, and now my dog images are stored here. Next, I want to add my distractor image. Since the dog is on the left in this condition, I'm going to add my distractor images to the right. I click on the file icon again, and I add my flowers. The same process, I've already created the trials, and I'm auto-assigning. Now I have an image of a dog and an image of a flower. My next condition is dog on the right. I'm going to follow the same procedure, except I'm putting my dog images in the image 2 on the right. auto-assigning to condition two, and confirm. You can also add just one image at a time if you'd like. Simply click on the folder icon and only add one image. Since I have four trials, I need to add four images. Make sure I'm in condition two, click next, auto-assign, and confirm. Now I have my flowers and my dogs. Let's move on to the cats. Now I'm assigning cats to the left side. I follow the same process. Make sure I'm selecting the cat images. Make sure I'm in condition three. And confirm. Ooh. <laughs> I add my flowers as my distractors. Spreadsheet. Make sure I'm in condition three. And confirm as well. Finally, I'm doing my last condition, which is where the cats are on the right. Make 
Make sure I'm in condition four. Auto assign and confirm. And finally, my distracting images. Perfect. So there's my experiment all set up. I can click save. And as you can see, all of my trials have been filled. This is how you use the trial system in the factor tree in LabVanced to create lots of different conditions. I hope this video was helpful.